Whatever happened to Britain's Got Talent singing sensation, Callum Scott? That's what's hot. Hey guys, it's Corey, and today we are going to look into what Callum Scott has been up to since his time on Britain's Got Talent. Stick around to find out if this sixth place winner became a worldwide superstar or if he's still on the path to ultimate stardom. Callum took to the stage after his sister Jade on Britain's Got Talent in 2015. He was seen in tears at the beginning of his performance. It was obvious that he was nervous. I mean, his sister took to the stage before him and didn't make it into the competition. You know what, Jade, there were parts where I thought you were pretty good, and there were a lot of parts where you weren't very good. That would make anyone nervous. <laughs> For his audition, he sang Dancing On My Own by Robin. His beautiful rendition of this song took the hearts of Britain's Got Talent fans immediately. Even Simon Cowell was seen standing for this singer at the end of his performance. Without any notes from the judges, Simon reached over and hit the golden buzzer for this emotional performance. That was only the beginning for this singer. Later in the competition, he received notes saying that he sounds like a recording artist and that great success around the world is only waiting for him. Unfortunately, Callum stumbled over his words in the Series 9 finale of BGT, but he still managed to win 6th place in the overall competition, which is amazing. After BGT, Callum went on and performed a series of shows around the United Kingdom. We need to be ready for that because you can't control tosses. <laughs> Callum, for a first timer, you're really good at the spraying. <laughs> and then he went on to release his own cover of Dancing on My Own in April 2016, about a year after his series of BGT ended. And I'm giving it my all, but I'm not the guy you're taking home. Even though this song was loved on the show, it was so slow to hit the charts. It hit number 40 of the charts in May, but once it took off, it really took off. This song was certified platinum by August. During this time, Callum signed a record deal with Capitol Records, who's known for signing Halsey, Sam Smith, Five Seconds of Summer, and even more. In 2017, he toured the US and released the single, You Are The Reason. The clock, I'd make sure the light the dark. In the following year, he released his first album, Only Human. He decided that this album would truthfully represent him and his story. So this album was basically him coming out to the world as gay. In an interview, he admitted that he wasted his teens and 20s because he was in fear, but the longer he kept his secret, the more ashamed he felt. A, a massive therapy for me in the hope that it inspires other people to, mm. to be happy about themselves and who they love. Before Britain's Got Talent, he had told a few friends about his sexuality, but it never come out to his dad. I'd written a song about being so scared to tell him, but actually when I did tell him, it was never as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Callum wanted to release this album knowing that he was being true to himself, and that's exactly what he did. And his fans loved it. Now, especially using the power of music, I've never felt happy, I've never felt more empowered with my sexuality. Wow. And Later that year, he released a single called No Matter What, and shared that this was his most personal song to date. Cause I love you no matter what. He said that this song was born from loneliness, acceptance, and the heartbreaking but liberating tale of his coming out experience. What's great about this song is that it speaks as acceptance as a whole, but it's not limited to only being a story about sexual identities. To, to be happy and always be who you at the time of Only Human's release, he was not ready to tell this story just yet, but once he was, this song went crazy. Since then, this singer has been truly riding the Britain's Got Talent wave. On May 31st, 2019, Only Human was certified silver in the United Kingdom, and this is when he became extremely busy. When he wasn't writing more music, he began performing worldwide and made sure to always prioritize time with family. 
So I've kind of not told the absolute truth about your Christmas presents. What do you mean? Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> My God, I can't believe it. I really can't. <laughs> In the early 2020, fans of him noticed that he looked a bit thinner than his BGT days. So on Instagram, the singer shared that, you know, he had some workout progress going on and he announced that he had been on a fitness journey since 2018 on tour. Um, I'm just being there and supporting me on my very first ever tour. Later that year, he partnered with an American watch company to develop a music documentary series called Minutes with Callum. This series gave fans a behind the scenes look at the creative process behind his second studio album. Fans love this series, but he never released the album. I believe that true craftsmanship is achieved when every person involved works with not only skill, but with passion. Instead, he released a slew of EPs and singles across 2021. In March, Callum released his first EP, Only Acoustic, which was filled with acoustic renditions of his songs from his debut album. I'm in the corner, watching you kiss her. Oh, oh, oh. Then, a month later, he released two more EPs, Only Collabs and Only Love. His EP, Only Collabs, is exactly what it sounds like it would be, four songs that feature Callum and another singer. I made sure the light defeated the dark. Only Love, on the other hand, features five love songs. Love this one. Only you ever cared to understand. Ever since releasing these EPs, he's been readily releasing singles. In June, he released Biblical. In July, he released Where Are You Now, featuring Lost Frequencies. In August, he released both acoustic and live versions of Biblical. In October, he released a single named Rise, which was followed up with a remix. And in November, he released De Primera Vez, from the first time, with Brian Bear. On November 12th, he released a single named Love is Just a Word with Jasmine Thompson. And we can't forget his most recent release, the single If You Ever Change Your Mind. This beautiful ballad was released on February 4th, 2022, and was first premiered on Live with Kelly and Ryan. It seems like Callum's career is definitely on an upswing in early 2022. He currently has 837,000 followers on Instagram, 1.6 million followers on Facebook, 5.81 million subscribers on YouTube, and over 787,000 followers on TikTok. Woo, this man has a lot of followers. I can't wait to see what he does next. It's been a long time since I've been back. I can't wait to show you new music. and I'll see you all very, very soon. Have you guys been following Callum since his BGT days? Do you love his new music? Let me know in the comments down below. I know I love them. As always, while you're on YouTube still, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Follow Talent Recap on all social media platforms and head over to talentrecap.com to stay updated on your favorite competition shows and their stars. If you guys want to follow me, I'm at Corey Caesar on Instagram. And now you know what's hot. Bye everyone. Hey, what are you doing tonight? Well, I think you should hit the subscribe button down below and then we can talk.